Ladies and gentlemen, you see this rascal that call himself Rufael Seni that is at the Arise TV. I wonder how this guy managed to be a journalist because the level of unprofessionalism in him is alarming, it's out of this world. Now, let it not look like maybe I'm castigating him for no reason. Watch the interview he made with uh, Deputy Governor Philip Shaibu. You know, trying to, you are, you are attacking people on your platform. You don't allow them to answer the questions they are being asked. If they even answer the question, instead of you to allow the public to add their own opinion in, you know, just opposing what they have answered or not, whether it is truth or not, you start an argument with people in an interview section. The, the level of unprofessionalism for me, <laughs> this is the height of it. You know, you have been doing this thing consistently over the years. And people will think maybe you will soon stop. You soon stop. Zero. I, I don't even know. You are the most unreasonable journalist in Nigeria today. Your rascality is out of this world. Brother, I'm going to learn from Shehu. Go and le let me tell you the reality. All this is your gra gra so, eh? It will soon end. It will end. Your career will just close. It will just close and fade away. Let me show you the video. We're not even partisan. These policies... And the kind okay. of way he followed uh, it up uh, also uh, uh, infiltrated them. Deputy Governor Shoaibu, you know, it's easy to say these things because you are winning. You've won today. And congratulations, like you have on your cap. It's not about winning. You know, no, let me, let me clarify some things because there are so many things that you said too that are not completely correct. Just like what you were saying that hey, he did it for uh, Adam Soshema the first. No, you join him in fighting Adam Soshema the first. It's because things went south between both of you. Yes. That's why you're not saying he did yes. No, you joined yes. him. You went against Ashamalek Asha, Asha yes. yourself. So yes. You were not. Yes. You said that people bought yes. votes. You too, you cannot say that you, did, you people did not buy votes in your ward. Or was it free? People just voted for you because they liked no. your face. No, it doesn't no. happen I, like that in Nigeria. I, I, I didn't Thirdly, buy votes in my ward. I want to. I, want to, I didn't buy votes in my I know you, did, you will say that. You, will you tell me on TV that you bought votes in your ward? You will not say that. But the people will just look at you and say, no. oh, we no, like no, Rufa, Mr. Shrive so your, much. Your, your crew. In fact, my unit was a flashpoint. In fact, my unit was a flashpoint. Mm. And you, uh, all your media people, 80% of the day, they were sitting with Mr. me. Mr. Shwebu, let me, I've not they asked my question. Mr. Shwebu, yes. I do not expect you to confirm to me that you bought votes in your ward or you gave anybody. I do not expect you. So there's no point trying to justify it. But we know how politics runs in Nigeria. How do you explain? Because the PDP has come out to say what was on the IREV is different from the eventual results. How would you explain that the INEC IREV has a different result from the eventual result? And how would you explain the cases some of them cited of accredited voters of over 300 or something and the APC got over 2,000 votes? So these were the shenanigans to the PDPs claiming that you people did. And when I say you people, all of you all the political parties participate in one way or the other. I will tell you people the truth, and you know me. So how would you explain that the IRF result is different from the eventual declaration? Uh, uh, first, I am no INEC, and I cannot, uh, I cannot, I, I'm hearing from you that IRM uh, number is different from uh, the eventually, eventual vote. That is is actually not my take to answer because I'm no INEC. But let me tell you one thing. The Obaseki that I've worked with, that I know, Obaseki would never accept defeat. Obaseki only accept uh, 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 if it's not winning, he will not accept. That is the kind of person. And he has shown in his character. Obaseki, uh, there are, there are 90, 92 judgment court orders that Obaseki has refused to obey. But anyone that favors him, that is the one he implements. So somebody like that, that will not obey judgment, somebody like that, that will never obey court order. But any order uh, that favors him, he obeys it. Even when an election like this takes place, obviously he will not accept. Because that is the character that he is, him and as well. That is the character they are. So the issue of IRM and the number is for I next to, to explain because I, you are telling me, I'm not sure, I don't know. But what I know, obviously, is that I was in my pulley unit from morning to night and I voted and it was counted and the vote counted because the, num the, the, my, the result that was declared in my, in my unit that everybody saw being counted is the result 
that I saw INEC announce. So if anything like that happened, I don't know. Because what I can tell you is that in my unit, in my ward, in my local government, the results that was uh, declared at the pulley unit, at the collision center, at the both at the ward and local government is what was announced in Benin. So that is all I can tell you. De Deputy Governor Shaibu, suffering, suffering on a politician, so I will still make up tomorrow. This man also put his head out for you when he needed to do it to, to make you part of his running mate. So after both of you betrayed the APC then. No? So I know I'm not in your matter, but suffer, suffer. Oh. That's what I'm just saying. No? Eh? No, uh, no, 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 no. Ruf, 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 now, Ruf, now, Ruf, 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 my, 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 my deputy you, governor, sir. Ruf, why my, you got him to use the word betray? You use the word betray. I don't like it because I never betrayed Oshomole. I was, I was sure of what I wanted to achieve. We came to a do state to say no to God for that reason. Uh, and I hate oppression. Mm. I saw Obaseke at that time being oppressed. I saw him as being oppressed. Not that we were it's still very tight and that certain things he was doing. And no, like, but, but, but because but, I saw an out of but, but, but and that's why we supported Obaseke. But today, Obaseke that told us we should, we should deal with him when he also want to behave like that okay. was is the same person. So okay, okay. what we, this election have done is that we have dealt with Obasek because he asked that he should be dealt with if, okay. if he becomes a godfather. Okay, Deputy Governor Shwebu. So I'm nobody betrayed is, anybody. All I'm saying and is, tomorrow, all, all, I'm, tomorrow, all, I'm, all I'm saying is, I'm a Catholic. I'm a Catholic. All whatever Obasek have done as a Catholic, okay. whether I seek for my forgiveness or not, okay. I don't I, really I, care. I, I, I really, I want to take I, holy communion. I really I want to put in the wait. I really want to put in the question. Tomorrow okay. I'm in court. I'm in court tomorrow against the same Obaseki. No, I, I get you. Wait, I, hang on a minute. Let, let me, I've not even asked my question. Let me land on my question. You people will sort out yourselves. You are politicians. It's not that deep for you guys. Ofone, like they say, I think I understand the name of that The meaning of that word is, it is finished. <laughs> it is finished. It is finished. It is finished. Uh, Mr. Shaibu, it is finished. Because very soon, you two you are going as deputy governor with Obaseki. What next for you? Because it is finished. This is the end of an era for you. Thank you. So what next with politics? Yeah. So, so is he, he, are you going yeah. to be the one that will take over from a Pueblo as senator? Or you <laughs> want to go to the Senate? What's the future plan for you? Let us know because this is an end of an era for you. Ofone, it is finished. Yeah. Yeah, Ofone for Basiki. Uh, not end of era for Shaibu. It's Ofone for Basiki. And why were you... I, I used the word of phone and it was spiritual. It was spiritual. Uh, God told me that it, uh, my battle, uh, 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 all the battles that I'm going through was finished. And when I woke up, I woke up with victory in court. And there was nothing else I could say than to thank God and to convert and translate it is finished that I saw in my dream uh, to to, to our language uh, of phone. I, I, from that day, I know it was finished. All my struggles and all what Obasike have put me through was finished. And that is why that acronym, uh, that word came out. But uh, my, going forward, uh, going forward, in fact, actually my political career changed when I became deputy governor. And my, from that time, actually I didn't know where I'm going next because I didn't plan to be in the executive arm of government. My plan in life was to go to House of Rep, from House of Rep to Senate, and I was to end my political career in Senate. But when I was asked to come and compliment the ticket and give political backing to Obaski in 2016, I refused at the beginning until I was actually persuaded to join. Immediately that happened, actually now took my political career and gave to God because that was not the direction I wanted to go. So. If you ask me where I'm going next, I'm waiting for God to push me to the next level. Right. But the good news is that I, for the past 16 months, for the past 16 months, 16 months, to show how wicked Obaseki is, for the past 16 months, I have not received one cobble from government. But am I not doing well? Am All I right. not doing, if at that period, I became very right. fresh. You see me, I'm very fresh than when I was there. And the gray air has reduced. All right, honorable feeling.